everyone. It's Morphomania time. I'm Captain Logan. I'm Eric. And that's DJ over there. Sorry, I'm not, I don't have. The, I'm not looking at the screen. I'm here. Hey, how you doing, DJ? <laughs> Great. D DJ, are you here? Are you are you lost in another dimension or something? Is that what's going on? Well, that was rocky. I was I was hanging in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I miss I missed that reference. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for being here, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, today we're gonna watch one episode of Mighty Morph Power Rangers. Usually we watch at least two, if not three, but today it's just one. And it is an episode that Eric remembers as being one of the most notoriously bad episodes. I don't least... remember. I just feel like- no, I he remembers like people reputation. saying it's terrible. Yes. That's I what I'm like saying. I feel like it has a reputation as being one of the worst episodes. Now, I think this episode's pretty bad. Uh, I watched it maybe a couple years ago, and um, I remember it being obnoxious. Isn't this but... the episode where we just chase something around like for the entire episode? I think it's a cab. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> then we... That adds up. <laughs> Like, I feel like it's the beginning of That's what some movie that starts like that. Um, I'm not sure. There's a movie that starts like that? Yeah, we're like, we're like, it, 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 I think this is like the beginning of Ghostbusters 2, but a whole episode. Like, the baby car is like going. Yes. Yes. That is that. this. Yep, that's this. Okay. Yep, that's this one. I feel like uh, this is it's really follow bad. that cab. And that's all we're doing today. So look forward to it. If you're watching live, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for trucking through the evening. Uh, this is the last thing we're doing for bat shooting tonight. Uh, so if you want to watch it with us, click on the link in the description so you can see exactly the stream that we were broadcasting through the Rabbit Room. If you're watching after the fact, get your Netflix or your DVDs and get it set to the beginning of episode 22 of season three. Follow that cab. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Everybody, please. Yeah, I know. I keep. I don't know how they do it. I can't. I can't. I mean, either. I keep feeling like I'm putting my hands in the wrong place. And I'm like, I had it the other day, but now I can't. Do you have to lace? To, do it no, it's not like that. What the? Is it, is it like this? Like, yeah. Do the fingers go out in the middle? Is it I like don't know. that? It Spider Man. -y. I don't think they do that. I don't know. Oh, you might be right. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. We, like the next time somebody's like, "Hey, can you do the spa cam?" I'm like, "Yeah, can you do this?" <laughs> can you do the ninjetti morph? <laughs> yeah, can you do the ninjetti morph? Yeah, gotcha. You got to work on your geek card, dude. Anyway, let's get started. Here we go. Everybody, please press play right now. Other people that can't do the spa cam. There are lots of people that can't do the spa cam. When I was a kid, I like I don't even, I didn't even like Star Trek, but I learned to do it. I, I used have... to have to do this, where like I I almost can't even do what I used to do. Like I I'd get it forward, but like it's really because cool. I have no trouble with it. I don't understand this, but uh, people tell me that it's like rolling your tongue, that it's almost like a genetic thing. Oh, some people can do it, and some people can't do it. But what's weird is Leonard Nimoy came up. You know, you know that's Leonard Nimoy's idea. Mm. He came up with that, and and he came up with it because it's a sign. He's he was Jewish, and it was a sign in the Jewish church, and that means oh. that. If it is something that is passed down genetically, there are Jewish people that can't do it, that physically are incapable well, of doing unless it. Unless it's a thing that's that that's inherently like usually within the, the Jewish race. Yeah, the Jewish as opposed team. to the Jewish faith. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I guess that's possible. But I'm just imagining Jewish kids like growing up in the church. They really want to be able to do that. And so they take like tape, you know, and they like tape their, are their there fingers. Any famous Vulcan actors that can't do it. Uh, or that's any probably, Vulcan actors. That that's probably a prerequisite. It. You know, it's like hype yeah, for Klingon. Yeah, yeah. Can, 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 can you do this? The first thing in the interview, they they don't even sit with you if you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. So, Eric, we were talking earlier, uh, getting into Power Rangers, we were talking earlier uh, about how it's cool how big uh, of a send-off um, Amy Jo Johnson gets here. That, like, they don't they don't write her out right away. Well, it's cool if there's... What was that? What was that scream? Was that her? That was her. Okay, because she said she did like rise. He sat down. I thought he like sounded like cat. No, she's all excited about the coach that's coming. <laughs> you remember that you got the you got the coach that shows up, and then uh, she goes off to the gymnastics competition, and that's why she leaves the show. <laughs> but it's nice that we do it over a couple episodes. Like it's not yeah. even just a three parter. Oh, oh it's like yeah. seven episodes. That's pretty nice. I, I appreciate that continuity. That cat is an angry cat. They got a great cat actor. That's a great cat actor. And right she's there. still glowing red because she's jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting to have a lot of fun with the villain banter this season. I don't even get what she's saying. Gold bar? Why is that an insult? Because it's not his name. <laughs> it's like yeah. how Tony Stark just calls people in the Avengers movies things that they aren't. like Or just like other things. Like Squidward? That's how insults work. I'm just going to be like... Except with him, there's at least a reference. 
With Rita, it's just I took a letter and I replaced it with another letter. I'll show you, Loban. <laughs> like, it's, what is that? Fred, Fed, Stead, Ted. Oh man, you you could have a you could have a clone of Captain Logan and Dan Tory called Captain Lo Lodan. <laughs> no, that's like the the you know the Rita and Zed kid that comes back in Operation Overdrive. That's what yeah. Lodan is. He's uh he's Captain Dan's. Yeah, kid. just like like hodgepodge together. <laughs> <That> sounds horrifying. <laughs> Lodan of Borg. What is what is his name? Oh, I don't know. Whose name? We know kid. It starts with a Z. I'm or it starts with a Z. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. what I, I said is correct in England. It starts with a Z. In, in uh, I could I could remember either. Yeah, yeah. Don't correct yourself. You're right. Zoltar. Not just England. Everywhere but America. <laughs> There's a lot of those. <laughs> wow, look at this set. The set that we have just to, so that she can go in this back alley. <laughs> Rita's been having a lot of fun with where she teleports lately. Sitting on another dumpster. You will get it because it's a dumpster. My favorite America versus the rest of the world thing is standard versus metric. We called it standard. It's only here. <laughs> <laughs> that is how America centric we are. <laughs> um, that is an almost xenophobic thing to do, right? It's standard. Yours is dumb. <laughs> it's not though. It's so. It's so much I better. Wish, yeah, I wish it's all it tens. Yeah. Everything we do is better just because we came up with it. Yeah. Uh, Back Studios gives us a five dollars super chat. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I asked is before Buster versus metric. Uh, no, I don't think you had enough time to write that. Two hundred and eighty feet are in a mile. I. <laughs> <laughs> I asked before, but Eric wasn't here. How would you make a reboot of this series, either for film or television, and what theme of show would you like to see? I always want to do an aquatic theme, and I know that we did that with the with the equations, but we never did the. I what is the Hamburglar doing on screen? Do you want a hamburger themed Power Rangers show? Is that what you're no. saying? I think Food Rangers could be cool. I've always said that 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 or I, th I think I've answered this before somewhere. Uh, yeah, but it's a super chat. If you give me if you give me Power Rangers and say you can make anything you want, you don't have to worry about the Sentai. Either the Rangers, sorry. Either the range. No, no. He's just clearly a criminal. Um, you know those criminals that like dress up so they're clearly criminals. <laughs> oh yeah, like um, Bob the Goon. You know, I get a lot of customers in my store that look just like that guy. Like head to toe, but without. Well, let me ask you: When you see that, this I is, assume they're criminals. This is a diversion. I assume they're. Still I was going to ask you: Are you assuming they're criminals, or are you assuming they must not be? Because a criminal would never dress like that. I'm assuming they're either criminals, or they will hurt me if I say something wrong. You don't, um, you don't escort them out like Vulcan Skull just did. Like, oh, let me help no. you, sir. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not junior police. I'm, I'm not qualified. <laughs> okay. That shot's um, fun. It's a good shot. Yeah, that's Ooh. pretty cool. Um, I'm sorry. I'm totally gonna listen to but you. But if you give me Power Rangers, either the Rangers or the monsters will be classic Universal monster themed. Yeah, yep. there'll be a werewolf. But I think that can be really cool for the Rangers. You have a vampire ranger, a werewolf ranger, a mummy ranger, and a, and a creature black Lagoon ranger. So and then later you you get like a Phantom of the Opera Ranger and like a like an Invisible Man Ranger and yeah. My thing is always. Uh, but I don't know what they fight if that's what the Ranger theme is. My my thing is always uh, more more serious, but with levity. Uh, reboot of of this show, but starting with the history of Zordon. That's maybe, what I've always wanted to see. Maybe all the villains are like horror knockoffs. Uh huh. We're like we're like it's. It's not Freddy Krueger. It's not Michael Myers. It's not Leatherface. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like maybe that's what the villains are for the Universal Monster season. Um, maybe do like an old versus new, where like these monsters are new and like 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 the Ranger powers are older and more traditional. And oh, that's interesting. Do something with that. Um, mine would probably be some kind of task force. Um, maybe high school, but probably not, just because we haven't done that in a while for in Power Rangers. Like it's always high school lately. So maybe just as as for having doing that a lot, you, you, you do. I really like Life to Rescue as like a, I mean, you wouldn't do that with, uh, I don't know. So you have uh, something for the Rangers to do out of the costume. They I'm can't like, just. I'm going to comment on the subtitles. Okay. I, I do it all the time. I always the, get crap for it. Yeah, I know, but I want to do it. Can I do it? <laughs> Can I have your permission? Because I'm always giving you crap about it. Uh, the the subtitles uh, said, oh, look, that's the actress that's going to play her. 
uh, uh, young oh, later. Oh, they keep the, 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 the keeper. They right. did the flashback. That's cool. Yeah, she's not a good actress. No, she's awful. It's it's it, it gets. Really she might funny. be the worst kid actress I've ever seen. You and I almost had to pause it. Yeah, when, when we because there, there's yeah. A, there's a scene where we just lost. Like it. I thought, Goosebumps actors were bad. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's well, so, one of them grew, grew up to be Ryan Gosling, so you know. So so we see we see Rita just go evil girl, evil girl, and then. Uh, the subtitle said echoing. I want to imagine that that is not what's going on. I think she's just repeatedly saying, evil girl, evil girl. <laughs> the camera pans over and she's still saying it. <laughs> it comes back to her and she's going, evil girl. Yeah, that is an interpretation that I don't agree with in the subtitles. Did, did, does DJ have a, have a Power Rangers thing? DJ, yeah, what's, what would your Power Rangers thing, thing be? I, I don't know, because you just... you. Are we just saying like a theme that we would like, or like? Well, he well, said that's... both. He said, "How would yeah, you yeah. do a reboot of this series, I mean, either for film or television?" Patterns, right? Like it's just. And what theme of show would you like to see? Which strikes me as two different questions. A reboot is Buffy Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think we all agree Buffy's on doing it perfectly. Yeah. You just translate that to animation, and you're yeah. golden. Yeah, you're I gold. would like to see a true, like gold a gold real gold. sword and sorcery season. Oh. I haven't watched Mystic Force, so I don't know, but I'm guessing there's not elves and dwarves and stuff. There in that. are elves and dwarves and stuff. Are and they really? Like, and they're and they're like power and they're like power center is in a magical forest. Yeah. And like there's a, there's a dragon. Like the but Red Rangers do, power up is like like dragon energy. But they do do contemporary stuff too. Like they they do. Well, yeah, it's they do, set, like, it's like set now. City and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, more like cool. it's more like uh, Hellboy two. Where like the the, the the magic stuff's all been sequestered off and like Finster broke into the Ghostbusters universe and stole that. <laughs> I feel like it looks like it came from the Mass Mutant. Okay, you which win. I know I, this is like the third time I've mentioned Goosebumps, I and I mentioned Goosebumps before you even showed up on another show. Yeah, although the top looks like a blender. It's a it's a blend of things, yeah. really, and <laughs> are they in, are, are they in, the, on. in the monster? Kimberly, you've got to stop getting in vehicles with Bulk and Skull. Oh, did you see that? That that was a Stone Canyon plate. Okay, so that looks a lot. like... That's a cool bit of continuity, though. Yeah, that's I like cool. that. That looks a lot like um, in the first Highlander, uh, in the first Quickening. Uh, you see lightning like dance across a bunch of the cars, like the lights blow out and stuff. That kind of looked, like 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 hoods go up, and it looked kind of like that. You know, the one you thought this was going to be is not this episode. No. And it's not Mighty Morphin either, either. It's in a different show. Oh, now now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. Um, oh. It's, it's, it's like, it's either a Turbo or a Space episode, I think. I'm not sure. It's probably Turbo, right? <laughs> it's notoriously one of the worst episodes. And it's about a car. <laughs> yeah, but that's probably incidental, really. So this is a cool monster suit. I don't know if I've good. ever been so excited I do this. <laughs> this. Have you ever been excited enough to put your hands on your head and do this? No, but I've been stressed enough to do that. <laughs> right, but to bounce like that? Alpha does a lot of squats. I've, I've done this. Like, I've been to this yes, stress place. That's true. See, Alpha just wishes he could grow hair so he could do that. Oh, oh well. She is the emergency. Okay, so wait. Put the emergency there... in her. <laughs> so Zordon's advanced technology doesn't allow him to make multiple calls to different places at the same time. So, like, if all the communicators are in one place, you can call them all at once. But if not, you got to call them separately. Like, he couldn't call Aisha at the same time, even though she's in a different place. That's stupid. So they still love each other here? Who? Rita and Zen? Yes. Oh, yeah. So does that break down, like... Even though they're past the spell. We did that. Right. right. But does that break down, like, once Master Vile shows up, and it's like, he's not good enough for you, and she's like, I guess you're right. Or do we... Do they love each other up until Turbo? Oh, they they keep it all the way through. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pinpoint the exact moment that Thrax was born or conceived as we go oh. through this. Yeah, we yeah we had a whole no oh. we had a whole joke about that. Okay, we um, decided that that happens when they're when they're uh, riding around in their uh, oh no of course in, in, in their RV on the moon of course the shark cycles. There's the shark cycles which we'll use now and probably never again because because if they're riding, if they're riding around in space RV they, they they definitely can't afford protection. But that's what that's what we thought. But yeah. 
I, 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 I see trailer trash that and read as maybe, maybe I may remember it, but I remember by the time they're in the trailers, they're like they're like Krang and, and Shredder, where they're real bickery. They're not bickery. They're already bickery here. Okay, because they seem like real into each other right there. It just depends on the scene. Okay, those shark cycles need different eyes. Although the eyes are like <laughs> piping, it looks bad. It looks like, like they're sharks with tiny eyes, and it looks silly. Yeah. Yeah, I think... Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I think they need eyes in the first place. They're cool looking otherwise, though. I don't know what sharks have to do with anything. Yeah, they're but... clearly our creation, because they don't go with a the theme at all. Yeah, why do we make... Mike Shark can smell his brain. Stop talking, Rocky! You're an idiot! <laughs> And the other rangers are just too polite not to tell him that he should be wearing the ranger dunce cap. Carnegie ever got the scripts and was just like, "Come on, God, wait, like, how am I supposed to deliver this nonsense?" Definitely at the wet hen line in the last episode. I imagine I should that, ask like, him that. Most of his I dialogue was him. supposed to go to Adam, but Adam just improv it, and they're like, "Well, Carnegie, you say it." <laughs> or he went, <laughs> we wrote this. Someone has to say it. <laughs> yeah, or Adam was the guy who was like, "I'm not saying that." I'm not saying that. <laughs> and then Carnegie was like. Fine. They wrote it. Someone has to say Someone it. Someone has to say it. Tommy's like, we've already established I'm not this stupid. <laughs> it just gets passed around the Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> and Carnaeus is just the nicest guy and you will I used just like no. I used just like, no, I'll say dumb lines, but that's a stupid male line. Only a only a dumb boy would say that line. <laughs> And it's true. I couldn't see a girl saying half the things. That's he not spog. That's an explosion. <laughs> it's not spewing pollution. You guys make that explosion every time you do something. Yeah. Remember when when you sit in uh, what was it Titanosaurus? It's not Titanosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Titanus. 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 But Titanus Titanus no, go with Titanosaurus. Though. Titanosaurus is Godzilla. Thing. Go it's with that. Terror Oh, okay. Uh, uh, but Titanus. When I sit in Titanus, it's like huge explosions. <laughs> Trini would be appalled. But there's only yeah, one they're to they're real cozy this episode for some reason. But they were angrier earlier with each other, and remember, like again, Rita was going against Zed and stuff. Yeah, well, they're giving them dimension. They love each other, but not always on the same page. So what? Look, are they, they have better eyes. They're the same thing. Sorry, DJ. Wait, but do they just look different now? What's going on? No, no. Some of them have have the tiny white eyes, and some of them have the big red things that look like that looks like. Because oh, like if you're eyes. a black shark cycle, you look too cool for those crappy yeah. eyes. <laughs> no, his are the his are the coolest looking one. But one other, one, I think it's the blue one. One other one that was that was that was choice. <laughs> they do that a lot. That kind of thing a lot this season. Okay, but I want to see the Zords do that move. Okay, guys, wait for it again. We're going to see, see the stock footage again of badass Tommy Zord going. <laughs> I like the frog one the best. He's like, yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm doing this. What would a frog do with the arms? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Yep. It's, it's, it's this. It's, <laughs> it, it's got the big bulky shoulders that can't bring its arms all the way up. It looks silly. Um, <laughs> Whoa. You know what I like about this? Not having watched the Sentai, but I like about this knowing that these are first. Is they hint at what the Zords are going to be. And then they make them that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here it's almost like this weird, like, humanized perversion thing. Have you watched this Sentai, DJ? Or have you not. just done research? Okay. Yeah, yeah, just looked. I've seen I just read the textbook. I really need mm -hmm. to go watch these. Yeah, I would. that's the first one I would like to watch because the Alien Rangers are my favorite suits. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, he agrees with me. I've always Someone been really interested to. in watching uh, Mega Ranger, which is what we turn into in space. Because one, it's probably, it's called Mega Ranger. It's called Mega Ranger. That's cool. So it and uh, Ginga Man, which is uh, Lost Galaxy, are the two that are like probably most separate from what we do with the with the actual Power Rangers show. But Mega Ranger is supposed to be really, really good. Um, Ginga Man, less so. You know, uh, what? I really it's a VR thing, right? Yeah, it's like a video game. No space at all. Yeah, I want to go back to what I said earlier. Uh, I really appreciate that we're taking our time again with uh, writing Kimberly out because I didn't realize that the coach guy hasn't even shown up yet. Like he's gonna get a whole episode next time, but we just introduced that idea and we haven't even gotten there yet. We're just waiting for him to show up. This might be kind of conspiratorial, but is part of the reason we write Kimberly out here because we don't have a pink Zord? 
Well, no, because she'll come right in right after. She'll come right in. Well, yeah, Cap the next episode right after this. Is, is oh, the will we still use these, or do well, there's we'll a, get around that? There's a whole thing about her not having a Zord. No, yeah, I don't she remember, shares a Zord with Tommy for that's what it is. They're she both shares one, but oh. if but yeah, like Weird. they would have just done that with Kimberly if she'd stayed. Like, yeah. that doesn't really have anything to do with writing her out. That would have made more sense though if we just didn't have a Pink Ranger until. They but in a few important. episodes, it's not going to matter anyway because our Rangers are going to be kids and they're not going to be able to morph in it at all. But that's its own season. No, it's not. Stop it. That's called Night Morphin Alien Rangers. It's a different thing. That's It was released on DVD separately. Mini that's, series. That's called The End of This Season with a logo with the word alien in it and that's it, okay? It's not its own season. I have complained about this a lot. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure on Netflix, you're going to have to go to the Alien Rangers season, and it will not be included in Mighty Morphin. And I'm going to complain about it every time. <laughs> I'm going to be so obnoxious, we're going to lose all of our viewers. This guy looks very Chris Evans-like. Because you need goals, you know? Is it Chris Evans, though? <laughs> Is it an early Chris Evans? Fantastic Four I, era Chris Evans. Pretty, pretty sure. Well, we've had all these other, like, mega stars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Who knew Chris Evans got a start on Power Rangers with a goatee? This is the one with the cat monster. He is in Chris Evans teen movie with the Yellow Ranger from Lost Galaxy. <laughs> yes, yeah. he is. Yeah, he is. She is in that movie. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of the Flasher. Hey, yeah. DJ. Uh, what should the title for this episode be? I think Jimmy Olsen's in that too. Which, which, which one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? He's in the team movie. Which is way better than has any right to be. Oh, they're right. still calling the cat PC! And Jason went off about that. What, what, what is this supposed to stand for, for again, DJ? Park cat. They yeah, found they the named park. it PC because it's park cat. They did it again, but with red eyes! Um, Yeah, park oh, cat. And then Jason goes... We didn't even notice it. He goes... <laughs> PC, why did they name it Personal Computer? Oh, I, I immediately went to, like... Uh, politically correct? Politically correct. Well, like, then I oh, started... God, even our kids shows have to have it. <laughs> like, like, later on, they start calling for it. They, just, they lose the cat. They start going, PC! And I was just like, politically correct! Well, really enjoy these shark cycles, because they'll almost never come up again. They really do really like do they just bought some other motorcycles, and then just put shells on them. Different shade of pink, part one. Well, there we go. Well, we, we did not watch the worst episode of Power Rangers. No, that's not the bad. Ever. That wasn't bad at all, actually. That's, that's consistent with, all, with what we do with most motorcycles in Power in Power Rangers and Sentai, where it's like, here's this really cool motorcycles. We'll use them maybe two more times. <laughs> Except usually the formula is we get them like the fourth or fifth episode, like yeah. they're going to be a big thing for the yeah. whole season, and then we hardly ever use them again. Yeah. And then when we do... It's usually, or my, or is this just Dino Thunder? Maybe, maybe that's the only place we do it. But with Dino Thunder, we see their motorcycles again, but it's usually like one person driving one. Just to get from one place to another? <laughs> yes. Anyway. All right. Well, that's it for today. Uh, just one episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thanks to everybody watching live for doing that. And thanks for watching After the Fact as well. Uh, thanks for joining us today if you are watching this later on. And uh, we're going to bid you farewell for this evening. Uh, watched a couple of uh, multi-parters. Got through m much of the cat stuff. And uh, we're going to be getting... Uh, getting rid of Kimberly and getting to Cat in uh, taking over next time. So uh, join us for that, won't you? And in the meantime, we'll see you later. I'm Captain Logan. That's Eric. And that was DJ. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye. I forgot I have to speak to get it to come to me. <laughs> yeah, you got Say something! Wow. <laughs> it said lights aren't going to come. Bye. Bye, everybody! Bye, <laughs> everybody!